if you have one of these at home you have a great alley for your singing and if you don't go ahead and get one because they are super cheap and they can really transform your voice and today i'm going to show you how my name is Aurelina, I'm a vocal coach, and I specialize on teaching people how to train the voice in a functional way, which means singing can be natural for everyone. Now, this thing here is a jumbo. If anything else, you can grab it just to replace an office chair, and it's gonna help you get rid of those back pains that you might have after a long day of working. I always recommend my students to get one of these if they had to stay a long time sitting, because when you spend a lot of time sitting, your pelvic floor can become sort of week and that really affects your voice. I have another video if you're interested that goes much more in detail into the connection between the pelvis and the voice. I'm going to link it for you so you have access to it and you understand the connections. So really one of the biggest problems we have is that we sit on chairs too much and that's not good for your pelvis. Sitting on a gym ball can be a really good way to get rid of that problem. And that is the first exercise I want to show you today. I want to show you three exercises. That is the first one. Super easy, doesn't take any extra time, and it's just to sit on a jumbo. Of course, it's better to sing standing up because you need more tone in your legs. But if your standing up posture is not really good right now, you might want to practice your sitting posture in this one, and that might make your standing posture better. If you have ever sung in a choir, you have heard that maybe you have to on to the edge of the chair and that is because being right at the edge of the chair helps you to feel your seat bones and to have your legs more toned. Definitely don't sing while sitting on a chair all relaxed. It's really bad for your voice. It really makes it unnecessarily harder for singing. We need to have a certain tonus in the right muscles. So a few things happen when you sit on a ball like this. First thing is that you can actually feel your seat bones going right this way, usually when we sit on chairs, they are more like this way or this way. And uh, here you can really feel them. And if you attempt to shift them, as you will naturally do in a chair, because of course you have something supporting you, you kind of fall. You have to make much more effort and you're going to notice. So naturally it helps you find a better posture. Similar way, if you tend to lean forward too much, you're going to notice that you have to really overwork here and it's not good for your voice. So sitting on your chair can help you find a functional pelvis position that makes your vocal function available to you. And the other thing that it does is it does keep your legs active. As I said, for singing, we need to have active legs for many reasons, but the most obvious one is that it does have a big influence in the way that your vocalist muscle work and your vocalist muscle is super important for your pitch regulation and for everything voice related. When you are sitting on a ball, all your legs are toned and you are more in a sort of a readiness state to stand up and you can use that as an advantage for example an exercise that you can do all of these exercises of course you want to combine them with your voice so let's say that you have a vocal exercise that you want to do one thing that you can do is to just go from sitting on the ball to standing while you are breathing and then you sing while you are standing up probably you're not going to be able to see me from the camera I go book and I sing there. All right, that's the first exercise. I suggest you try it. Second exercise I want to show you today is an exercise that will really improve your breathing for singing. So one of the main things or the first things you want to discover when you start your singing journey is your low back breathing. This type of breathing is very deep and it allows you to start lowering your larynx in a functional, organic, easy manner without you having to push it. This is gonna make your voice much better. It's gonna improve your voice. It's gonna make singing come much more naturally to you. Most new students have real trouble finding that low back breathing at the beginnings because we usually tend to, as I said before, have a pel the pelvis in a not the best position and that usually makes us bring our body weight too much to our heels and kind of close our low back, which makes breathing in the low back really hard. I am going to Keep my reps where they are so i'm not going to transfer my body weight away my reps i'm going to keep them there and i am going to um, move the ball a little bit forward like this just maybe like one or two centimeters it's really really tiny maybe you can bring a hand to your low back and if you do this movement while keeping the reps where they are you're going to notice a little expansion in your low back in your lower lumbar spine so we want that. Next time you do it, breathe in as you do that, like this. 
and you might start noticing some activity here. Of course, as I said before, ideally, once you find that, you want to add some sound to it. So you use that inhale to take air in, and then you sing whatever you want to sing. It's really good to train when you're doing warm-ups to train your voice in a way that makes your progress way fast. There is a third exercise that I would like to show you today, and it's about giving you flexibility of the anterior muscles of the body and the posterior muscles of the body. And I also have another video that talks a little bit about that. I'm going to link it as well. You can take a look. It's really important for singing. And this is one of the things that people normally don't even pay attention to, and it does play a big role in your singing. So you can use the ball to help you stretch those muscles and give them balance. And this one, you don't have to do it while singing. Of course, this is just for you to stretch. Maybe you can do it before your singing practice. And what we're gonna do is we are going to use the ball to sort of arc our body weight. So I'm going to walk forward and I'm going to allow my low back to just rest on the ball. And I can be there for a little while. It can be quite relaxing. Um, try to come back this way to avoid straining my neck. All right, and then, of course, you have to do the opposite to give balance. All right, I can already feel my voice being a little bit more fluent. So the other way is, of course, this way. So I kind of hug the ball like this. And I'm just there. Can be quite relaxing. So, of course, you can do it for much longer than that. Just showing you the exercise. Try them out. If you are a singer or you want to improve your voice, your spoken voice, and you have a gem ball, you can try them right now. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, physically go and press like. It really helps my channel. Give me a comment if you want to see any voice-related topic covered. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you are not going to miss out in my next video.